welcome to the TCR Show 2011. And uh, as we all know, the TCR Show isn't just all about wonderful, exciting products and lots of exciting people. It is about awards as well, the 220 awards, which were held last night. And uh, I'm joined by Ian Hamilton, who is the race director of the Outlaw Triathlon and the National Relays um, yeah. and, uh, and the National Duathlon Championships. Yes. But very exciting news for you, uh, Ian, last night. You won Race of the Year 2010. Was that expected? I, if I'm honest, it wasn't expected, no, but really hopeful. Um, we, we did a, had a great event last year, the feedback was fantastic, um, but that's the normal sort of feedback you get from, the, from, you know, from a lot of events. Um, but to actually win was, was great for us, really pleased, really happy. For the, for the team as well, we had 300 volunteers and some were out there for 20 hours. And so, yeah, we were really chuffed to bits actually. Something you're quite used to, though, because over the last uh, four years you've managed to pick up four consecutive uh, Race of the Year titles with the Vitru Vitruvian Triathlon, and this year it was the Outlaw Triathlon. So a really exciting, kind of a very new event, but still won Race of the Year, which is absolutely outstanding from all you guys and uh, all the, the rest of the guys that were involved. Yeah, I suppose, certainly from our point of view, you know, even though you're winning Event of the Year, it, you don't, you can't settle back, you know, you can't, you know, say we won it so that, you know, you've done all your work. Um, still this year we're doing, we're changing a couple of things on the outlaw to again try and improve it. Um, there's now a lot of competition in iron distance racing, so hopefully now we have won the event of the year, people will you know look at us in a, you know, in a through rose tinted glasses really and just say right, I've got these choices and hopefully the outlaw is the one they're going to pick now. Well, it's well established now, and, and having one race of the year, as you said, that's going to give it some serious street cred out there, I think, in the triathlon world. Lovely trophy. Yes. I think our camera can pick that up. Um, tell us just a little bit about the Outlaw Triathlon. As you said, it is an Olympic distance event. Iron distance. Iron. Olympic. I've got Olympic in the head. Too much Olympics today. Um, it is an Ironman distance event. Yeah. 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 So, um, from a personal point of view, I'd grown up in Nottingham. Um, and I, I, I'd always wanted to do an iron distance event. Um, we went through the, the various options of you know looking at franchises and that type of thing, um, and just decided that from our point of view the way to do it was to actually create our own brand, um, which you know we spent 18 months plus um, coming up with the with the event, with the swim, the bike, the run, um, and really we made we started with a wish list and just stuck to it. So great, very simple out and back swim. Um, bike course is um, three loops, nice hill, some really good locations, good, good, nice roads to ride on. Bike, bike times last year were fast, and, and we've also got a uh, within reason a three lap run, perfectly accessible to spectators. Um, you know, great for the runners, nice and flat, going past Nottingham, uh, Notts Forest ground. Um, the cricket ground and turning around at County Hall. So, you know, location's fantastic, swim, bike and run, finish all at the same place. So, you know, yeah, we're, hopefully that was the reason, one of the reasons why it won. What's the date for this year's race? date for this year is July 24th. Um, Expecting lots of sunshine then, of course. Lots of sunshine, a year to the day for when the Olympics start as well. Um, so, yeah, nice long day, good weather, we'll be happy. Um, <laughs> Just tell us a little bit about what this means to you again, having won race of the uh, race of the year, because I, I think it's an outstanding achievement. Because we've got so much competition now in the UK with such brilliant races. Yeah, it, mean, it means a it means a hell of a lot, really. We say so when we when we started planning for it, it was one of those things where if we could tick every box, you know, the last one to do would be to get race of the year. Um, Windsor was third absolutely legendary event you know one of the first events i ever did was was windsor triathlon you know it sells out within hours two and a half thousand people um you know so that's come third vitruvian did really well again got second um for outlaw in its first year to win it's good you know it's, it's not only just for us but it's about everyone that worked on it so yeah really really chuffed to bits about it Congratulations, really fantastic achievement. And just to finish off, you've, you've got a couple more events taking place. You've got Clumber Park on the 6th of March? 5th of March, let's get that right. 5th of March, and that's the National Duathlon Championships. And it's a selection race for World and European Championships as well. Yep, yeah, that's correct, yeah. So entries are going really well. That's probably quite close to being full. Um, not really looked at it in the last few days, but I think we were probably within 100 places of that being full. 
Um, so we've got that on March the 5th. And then on August the 27th and 28th, we've got the club relays again. Um, we've now changed that to two days of racing, so we're expecting hopefully around about 3,000 club members all coming together. Bit of a laugh, but it's safe racing. It's on the closed road circuit, around home Pierpont. Um, yeah, and looking forward to that. That's, that's always a good weekend. Good, good laugh weekend with a bit of racing in the, in the middle of it. And Ian, remind, uh, remind everyone where they can go to find out more about the races, dates, registration and everything. Okay. Website's got everything on. That's www.onestepbeyond.org.uk. That's one as in the... Sorry, yes, the word one. The word one. Okay. Lovely. Thanks ever so much, Ian. Lovely talking to you. Good luck for a very successful 2011. Thank you. Good luck to you as well. <laughs>